Hey guys, it's Ruthie with the Popo Backyard Farm. I am making socks tonight. And this is the easiest pattern for a beginner. And I wanted to share this with you. I talked a little bit about this on my Instagram, which is Popo Backyard Farm Official. And my personal page, which, which is Ruthie Popo on Facebook. And you are certainly welcome to follow me there. Okay guys, so here is how to make these socks. You start out with this particular pattern, it is so easy. You make 10 stitches using a size I crochet hook. And when you crochet it, you crochet, do uh, 10 chains, then you go on this side, you add the single crochet, and then on the other side, which will kind of make like the loop. That, you know, so it's all in a circle as you go up, okay? Then you do 16 rows of single crochet, and it will be 22 across. And actually, let me correct this. It's 11 chains, not 10. Okay, so it will be 22 across. Then you change your needle over the ankle, which is a size N hook. And you continue to do the 22 stitches. Then you have to go back to your size I, which will be, uh, and this is 11 rows, this is 16 rows, and you will go back to your size I, I'm, I'm dropping the needle here, you have to go, you'll go back to your size I, because you got over the ankle, and you'll go up the leg, and then when you get to the very top, your socks will fall off if you don't get even a smaller needle which is the D. And I'll have these all in the instructions below so you can see exactly what they are. And these are, you know, once you get the pattern down, it just whips up really quick. You can whip up a couple pairs a night or one pair or a sock, whatever time you have. And I encourage you, especially if you're new to making these, to make each section a little different because... This way you can tell where you're doing the ankle. And they are really cute. And they're nice, snuggly socks. And I have been very pleased with these. Now, some people don't like walking on crochet. And if that is an issue, you know what you do? You just put on a pair of regular socks and pull these over. And that way they're nice and warm for the winter. So there you go. That's how to make these cozy little winter socks. And... It just is so easy, and once you get making them, you'll be making tons and tons of these because they are so warm and fun to make. Okay, guys, remember, big or small, you too can be a backyard farm. God bless.